This video is about basic setup for the Celtic Sounds MIDI module app using Warble. Celtic Sounds is a great iOS app that works well with Warble, and in fact Warble is set up by default to work well with Celtic Sounds, so when you first receive the device you don't even have to open the Warble app to change any settings, you can basically just open Celtic Sounds and begin playing. So here I'm opening Celtic Sounds on my iPad, I have Warble plugged in, and as soon as I start playing, we can hear the tin whistle sound from Celtic Sounds using all the default settings. And I'm just using the Warble mouthpiece for this demonstration, not the bagpipe bag. There's nothing in Celtic Sounds that shows you if Warble is connected. Um, so if you don't hear sound right away, um, there'll be some troubleshooting that we'll get into in a few minutes. If you're using the Warble for the first time and the tone holes don't seem to be responding to your fingers quite as you would expect, you may need to take a break at this point and calibrate the tone holes following the video on the Warble website. I calibrate the tone holes before I send out each Warble, but it may be that your fingers are just different enough so that the tone holes won't respond correctly without recalibrating. You'll see at the top of the app that you can select different instrument sounds. Now one thing to be aware of about this app is that the labels for the sliders are underneath the sliders. So for example, this top slider is the transpose semitones slider. Sometimes uh, there can be a little bit of confusion about which label is for which slider. Changing this top one will allow you to play in a different key, so there's no need to change anything in the Warble app. You can just move this slider to play in a lower or higher key. So if it's set to zero, there's no transposition. You'll be playing in the key of D by default. So you can move that slider down to play lower, um, down to a full octave below the standard key of D. Or you can move the slider up into the positive range to play higher. The next one down is the volume slider, which I currently have set to its maximum. Then there are some reverb settings. There's the room type, which basically makes it sound like you're playing in rooms of different sizes. There's also a slider just below that for adjusting the overall amount of reverb. Most Warble users won't need to adjust any of these lower controls, but one I do want to mention is the MIDI channel, which should be set to 1 for most Warble users. If you aren't getting sound out of the Celtic Sounds app, um, the most common reason is that this MIDI channel slider got set to something other than 1. Um, advanced users may need to change it, but for most people, this should be set at 1, and it's easy to inadvertently move these sliders, so if you're not getting sound, that's always the very first thing to check. This MIDI transpose semitone slider should be set to zero for most users. If you want to change key, again, use the transpose semitone slider at the very top, not this one. And finally, the pitch bend semitone slider for most users should be set to two. That makes sure that when you're using vibrato or sliding with warble, you'll get the correct range of pitch bend. Using the default settings without having opened the warble app, Vibrato will be turned on, but not slide, so you'll be able to play vibrato by waving your fingers over the tone holes, but you won't be able to slide by gradually lowering or lifting your fingers. I'll be covering that in the next video when I introduce the Warble app, which is also known as the configuration tool, and I'll cover more advanced settings.